now i will explain now i will explain sir how this collections generics diamond operator evolved in multiple versions right observe that sir until 1.4 version until 1.4 version generics concept is not there if you want to create a realist object you require to create a realist object like this correct or not any collection object generics is not there until 1.4 version right so what is the problem with this sir for this realist we can add any type of object are getting that's why type safety is not there next at the time of retrieval compulsory we have to perform type casting so type safety are getting type safety is not there type casting is the bigger headache type casting is the bigger headache until 1.4 version with this non generic collections sir luckily in the 1.5 version in the 1.5 version generics concept came sir which concept came generics concept came okay sir in the generics how to create generic version of array list array list of string l is equal to new array list of string are getting array list of string l is equal to new array list of string sir this this string is nothing but parameter type type parameter right the biggest advantage is for this array list we can add the only string type of objects by mistake if you are trying to add any other type compact method you are going to get so the biggest advantage here is type safety we can get are you getting sir type safe this collection is always type safe because there is a guarantee this array list can hold only string type of objects by mistake if you are adding any other compact method you are going to get sir similarly at the time of retrieval we are not required to perform type casting remember already i covered sir type casting headache type casting headache won't be there in this generic version sir generics the biggest advantage is we are going to get type safety we can overcome type casting problems generics concept came in which version sir 1.5 version okay like sir in the 1.7 version in the 1.7 version diamond operator came sir sir can you can you spell out which operator came diamond diamond operator came in the 1.7 version sir what is this one type parameter sir in the declaration part we are taking type parameter in the constructor call while creating object we are taking type parameter how many times you are going to repeat type parameter man second time you are not required to repeat type parameter okay so to provide this flexibility diamond operator came in which version sir 1.7 version remember that sir diamond operator in which version came 1.7 version so we are not required to repeat type parameter second time so from 1.7 version onwards what we can take array list of string l is equal to array list of string l is equal to new array list are you getting that's all type parameter second time we are not required to specify are you getting type parameter second time we are not required to specify sir so based on context the compiler will consider this type automatically this is called type inference are you getting this is called what type inference remember this one based on the context the type will be considered automatically by compiler that thing is by default considered one type inference so this diamond operator which came in the 1.7 version what advantage we are going to get type parameter second time we are not required to specify automatically automatically what is the biggest advantage by default we are going to get is sir do you know readability will be improved length of the code is going to be reduced concise code we can able to write because we are not required to specify type parameter second time but but the diamond operator which came in the 1.7 version is applicable only for normal classes are you getting is applicable only for normal top level classes but not for anonymous inner classes okay sir if i want to create anonymous inner class that implements iterator that extends array list for those anonymous inner classes diamond operator is not applicable but 
from 1.9 version onwards 1.9 version onward diamond operator do you know diamond diamond operator applicable diamond operator applicable for anonymous inner classes also are you getting anonymous anonymous classes also you can apply no problem at all what is the meaning of that sir i am taking array list of string l is equal to new array list array list like this i am taking sir sir do you know i am creating child class for array list array list what is the name of that child class no name anonymous class for this and i am creating object for anonymous class not array list object anonymous class object for anonymous class object also sir happily you can use diamond operator but this facility came from which version onwards right 1.9 version onwards remember that similarly similarly i have iterator is there are you getting i have iterator is there string itr is equal to i'm trying to create iterator object but iterator is what is that iterator interface okay compulsory we should go for implementation class that implementation class without name you can take sir observe that new new iterator new iterator okay curly brace open like this sir i'm creating a class that implements iterator that implements iterator i'm creating a class that implements iterator anonymous class for this anonymous class i'm creating an object sir for anonymous classes happily we can use what the diamond operator no problem at all everyone can able to understand right so this is what you people should aware sir in the 1.9 version what extra masala came so sir before 1.4 version this is the cinema sir before 1.4 version this see the cinema no generics no type safety type casting headache is there sir in the 1.5 version generics concept came type safety is there type casting problems we can able to resolve but in the 1.7 version because of diamond operator we are not required to repeat sir type parameter second time okay that's all the biggest advantage length of the code will be reduced read ability by default will be improved concise code only we can write we are not required to repeat type parameter second time next uh, the diamond operator applicable for normal classes but not for anonymous inner classes this rule applicable until 1.8 Eight, but from 1.9 version, 1.9 version diamond operator applicable for anonymous inner classes also clear right? Okay, so these are the new things which came with respect to diamond operator. Right, sir. Now anyway, sir, I prepared a beautiful notes. Right, beautiful material I prepared. Just to go through that, sir. In our material folder, already this material is there. Just go through that. Have you looked once? Sir, observe that. Diamond operator enhancements. Diamond operator enhancements. Almost around uh, seven pages material already I did, sir. Okay, this enhancement at the part of uh, part of milling project coin jump two one three. Next, uh, before understanding this uh, enhancement, we should use a generic concept which has been introduced in one point five version. Sir, what is the meaning of type safety? Next, uh, what is the what is the meaning of type casting problem? Sir, like I covered. Sir, how to create? How to create? Have you observed right? So hence the main to overcome the above problems of collections. Type safety, type casting. Sir, Java people introduced a Generics concept in 1.5 version. The main objectives of generics are to provide type safety and to resolve type casting problems. Okay, sir, how to create generic version? What advantages by default we are going to get like this? Next, the difference between non-generic and generic collections, right? Of course, already I covered in our videos. Sir, it is the non-generic version. It is the generic version. Next, it is not type safe. It is the type safe. Here, type casting problem is there. Here, type casting problem is not there. Like, sir, Java. Seven diamond operator. Can you spell out diamond operator came in which version, sir? Ah, diamond operator came in which version? Java seven. So here, whenever we are using diamond operator, 
then the compiler will consider the type automatically based on the context which is also known as type inference we are not required to specify type parameter of the constructor explicitly here i am not specifying sir here i am not specifying that is the biggest advantage hence the main advantage of diamond operator is we are not required to specify the type parameter in the constructor explicitly length of the code will be reduced readability by default will be improved right okay that's all sir but until java 8 version we can't apply diamond operator for anonymous generic class but in java 9 we can use clear for all of it right sir usage of diamond operator for anonymous in anonymous inner class for in jdk 9 sir usage of diamond operator extended to anonymous classes so not only normal classes sir what is the meaning of anonymous class and then a small example next and after that whatever programs i i explained all already these programs are there sir just uh, go through these uh, things right so next uh, sir here pre jdk 7 before jdk 7 we have to create like this sir from jdk 7 onwards we can create like this next even in the jdk 9 java 9 happily you are allowed to use for anonymous classes also sir observe this is second note sir sir this is about diamond operator what we covered second note observe that sir be ready for partial diamond operator in the next version of java yada pata project amber are you getting right open jdk people are already working on this maybe in the java 10 or java 11 or java 12 you people are going to see partial diamond operator are you getting right what is the meaning of partial diamond operator right very simple suppose i have i have i want to create new test new test sir you have only one facility until 1.9 version if you want you can specify type if you don't want you can remove completely you can remove completely but suppose i have new hash map is there hash map key and value if you want you can specify otherwise you can remove but key i want to specify but the value i don't want to specify <laughs> are you getting that diamond operator only some part i want to specify some part i don't want to specify sir this type of facility is not there until java 9 which is going to come in the java 10 or 11 or 12 open jdk people already start working on this sir you can expect partial diamond operator also in the next version so open jdk people already started working the project name is amber are you getting that amber project under that project already the people are working maybe in the newer versions you can able to see are you in a position to understand right that's all sir this is about postmortem about diamond operator okay right sir that's all thank you